another one bites the dust. KFC says, peace, Chicago, we're out. Peace, peace, peace. <laughs> So, in today's conversation, we're back in Chicago. Man, Chicago is the gift that keeps on giving. I thought Fannie Willis was, but yeah, she is too. But uh, Chicago really does is the really is the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, between the the carjackings, the robberies, the shot spotter being removed. I mean, we've been all over Chicago this week and last week because of all this. It, I mean, the crime is unbelievable, and we're back at it today because guess what? Kentucky Fried Chicken has left the hood. They have left not one, but several of these Kentucky Fried, I think it's like three, that has closed up shop. These people can't even get their Colonel's Fried Chicken. They can't even get Colonel's Chicken anymore. Why? Because the people have robbed them out of business. Okay? They are being robbed out of business. And so Chicago says, you know what, Chicago? KFC says, you know what, Chicago? We can't do it no more, friend. We got to go. We got to go. We, we can't do it no more. We can't continuously providing y'all free food, man. We can't continue to provide you free food. We've got to look at the bottom line. We got to look at our pockets. We got to, we can't just keep buying chicken and, and get no money back out of you. So we got to go. We got to go. So that's what happened. Chicago has lost uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken and we're in the hood, uh, of course. And so we're going to talk about that today. So if you're interested in seeing that, then hey, let's do it. Hello, friends, and welcome to The Conservative Poet. I am Amanya, and I want to say thank you to all of the new subscribers. We got a whole lot of people that hit that subscribe button, and I want to say thank you for doing that, because I will surely work hard to entertain you, to bring you information, and just to be the fighter out here in the streets for you. So. Thank you for subscribing. God bless you and God keep you. Now, I got to give you, give you all this disclaimer. So, um, when I was a teenager, I worked KFC, honey. I was one of their best employees. I worked Kentucky Fried Chicken in high school. And I learned all about the chicken business. And I love me some KFC. God help me. I could eat them finger licking good Man, on my lunch break, I'd have me my my Kentucky my chicken. I like the thighs. I like dark meat, so I have my chicken legs and thighs, and of course, I gotta have some macaroni and cheese. And I love their potato wedges. I think they stopped making potato wedges. Any event, so I'm just physically remembering working at KFC and just visualize. Well, how are these people robbing them? Like, are they? coming up and ordering chicken and then not paying for it? Or are they literally coming and holding up the place, guns blazing and saying, give me what you got in the register and, and throw me a bucket, of, a, a, t throw me a 20 piece original in there while you at it. Like, how is that working out? How are they robbing these people out of business? I, I'm, I'm very curious. I don't think the news clipping really covered it, but I'm literally thinking about it. I'm like, well, how are they doing that? Are they going through the drive through ordering? And then when they put the, 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 the chicken or whatever inside of the, the little window, are they snatching it and running away? Like, what are you doing? How are you robbing KFC blind? Like, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I never did get robbed. Nah, I never got robbed, yo.